It truly is exciting to me. It's an opportunity for us to really empower the business of healthcare delivery at UHN, to do things from an innovative perspective, to design a system that will allow us to be agile and flexible and be a true driving force on the healthcare landscape within Canada. What I'm excited about as a scientist and as a researcher running my own lab are the empowerment that I'm going to have to be able to manage those finances in a different way, to be involved in it, to ensure I'm up to speed real time on my accounts and what's happening and with the ability to procure things, to get materials faster. Everybody gets frustrated when there are delays around that. And I know the teams around Project Agile are building the foundation for this in principle to provide those abilities to labs like mine. I'm sure you've heard that PR Online, which is the current procurement online tool, is disappearing and being decommissioned with the implementation of the new system. The new tool is up to date, it is current, it has a much uh, smoother look and feel, and it will still do the same things that PR Online does. The good thing about the new system is it will be work like a uh, Amazon. You can click, 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 and then you can check out. I think one of the best things that we're going to get out of the ability in the new software is a solution that is integrated with the rest of the organization. It's going to be uh, a one-stop shop, so now instead of having to go between EREC or PR Online or paper PRs, it's going to be consistent. We're going to have in-house support, uh, so we're going to have a greater ability to manage, upgrade and customize the software as needed. The biggest thing I'm excited about is this gives us control over our own data. Data that we can then use for better reporting, real-time information that could flow from finance to all of its users, information that would help deliver better decision making that would happen at the programmatic level, real-time way for our researchers, and also give our staff access to reports that we didn't have before, control over information that we didn't have before. Imagine a time where you would no longer have to wait you know, uh, 45 days to get your financial report. We should now be able to provide you with reports where you can mine your own information, mine your own data. So that's really where the value comes in. In the past, we haven't really had a full picture of where we get the thing, sourcing it, and then looking at it all the way downstream to the end use. And that's really a problem because we've focused primarily on the procurement side of saying like, for expensive things, you need to get estimates and then we're pretty much gonna take the cheapest one, assuming that they're all sort of the same. But as the users, we often don't feel they're the same and we may know that downstream, that's gonna have an effect on our ability to do our experiment in the lab or even worse, on our ability to do our jobs as clinicians and take care of patients. This way, if we can actually see this all the way through, we can see that, oh, you know, that thing we were buying, that tool for the OR or for the endoscopy unit or for whatever piece of equipment might have been a little cheaper, but it actually ended up taking us more time in the OR, leading to longer patient stays. That ends up costing the institution more money, but actually, more importantly, potentially impacts on patient care. So if we can actually figure that out and say we look at the whole picture, not just the upfront cost, we get a much better understanding of that. And there's no question that having the data from start to finish is going to be critical for that. And so for me, this seems to be a, a big advance. Project Agile is going to create that foundation, the bedrock, through which all future tools can be customized, created, and delivered in a way that meets the exact needs of our research teams and allow us to future-proof ourselves for development and future growth and future expansion of what we're going to do.